It's Different Now, directed by Brother Joe Gordon, and He Broke the Chains, directed by Sister Janice Jackson.
never gets old to me. February 13, 1976. I'll never forget the day that he spoke to my troubled soul. Words of peace and made my very call. My, my soul was troubled. It was troubled. I was one troubled young man. Amen. But I'll never forget the day that God came up. Amen. And visited me up. Amen. And he spoke the words of peace to that troubled soul of mine. Amen. And God saved me that day. Amen. Took the burden of sin. Took up. Amen. The penalty of sin. Took the problem of sin.
honest, for sure, and you know, again, this is just me saying this, this is not actually happening, right? But but if you knew that, you would you would be out of here before I'm done, won't you? Yeah. Right, go ahead and beat your bird, brother. They keep you out of my way as I get out of this parking lot. <laughs> and you're gonna try to find your the, the safest area you can get to, right? Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. And we're sitting here all calm, you know, yeah, I would consider no, you'd be out. Yeah. <laughs> And the reason why we're moving is because we got the proper warning. Well, that's what I'm here for this morning. I want to give you a proper warning. Now what I'm about to say is true from this point on. And it's going to happen. All right? My, I'm going to give you the, give you the uh, title right now. Get it right. Jesus is on his way back. So I'm going to tell you something. I, one, of the, one of the ways that I measure where we are as, you know, religious folk in America is through the music. They hardly ever sing about Jesus coming back. Oh, he's lovely and all this other stuff. Some beautiful stuff. Listen, there's some beautiful stuff. But you hardly hear about Jesus coming back. But that is going to happen. And it's not as long as you and I think. Well, we'll say, well, I've heard about this a long time ago. It hasn't happened yet. That's just what the devil wants you to do. Want us to unbelieve, be of unbelief, and think this thing is not going to happen right now. But it's going to happen. Let's turn to 2 Peter 3. I want to walk us through several verses of scripture here to hopefully shake up our mind. Look, those of us who are saved, don't you thank God for salvation? Yeah. I didn't say those of us who are members of church. I said those of us who are saved. Because yeah. there are plenty of members of churches that you know that you don't want to be around. Right. Huh. Right. Right. Just because you go to church doesn't mean you say it at all. Right. If you have not stopped willful sin, you are not ready for what I'm about to preach right now. When Jesus comes back, he's not coming back to church boys. He's coming back for his church. And I'm going to show you there's some signs in the Bible that make it plain who's in his church and who is not. All right? As we start in verse 1, 2 Peter 3 and 1, we're going to take our time to walk through this. It's going to be a while in this, in this uh, chapter. Come on. This second epistle. This is the second letter. Beloved. Yes. I now write unto you. Peter said, I'm writing the second letter to you. Come on. In both, which I stir up your mind. I want to stir up your mind. Your mind. By way of remembrance. God, listen, we got to be reminded. Yeah. Jesus is on his way back. You can tell, brother, but I don't want to spoil it. You and I are going to be able to see real plain. As we read this, I want you to say for yourself. You, you let me know if it's today or not. Let's read through it. That he may be mindful of the words which not were spoken before by the Holy Oh, you need to be reminded, isn't that right? Yes. Amen. Come on. And of the commandment of us, the apostles, of the Lord and Savior. Yes. Knowing this knowing first. This first. That there, there shall come in the last days. Stop. Hold it right there. First of all, in the last days, there's going to come scoffers. And one of the definitions of scoffers. Our is of scoffing is contempt. Yes. Wow. You know, you can be a contempt before the judge. The judge will tell you, hey, if you say one more thing, I'm going to hold you in contempt. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And if you say it again, I'm going to put you in jail for three days. Wow. They can do that. Yeah. They can say, listen, the judge will say, I don't want you in the media talking about this case. Is that right, Brother Jeff? Yeah. If you do it, I'm going to hold you in contempt. You know what that word means? It means extreme disrespect. Yeah. Let me give you an example. Look, I was reading something this morning. Man, listen, I get up, I put on, on some music, and as I'm getting ready for church, I like the old stuff that's going to challenge your soul, right? Yeah. And, and as I was reading down, people were like, oh, man, I haven't heard this song in a long time. Somebody else said, oh, man, I did this song. Somebody said, man, I like to light up weed when I'm listening to this. <laughs> I said extreme disrespect. Tell me if that's today or not. Jesus is on his way back. Oh, bro, I like to light up weed when I'm listening to that gospel. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Scum in the last days. Oh, this one, this is what, listen, listen, I keep saying this. We have kicked God out of everything. You and I haven't really experienced the results of it yet. It's coming. Oh, it's here. Oh, yeah. 
And if you say you say, you better dig in hard. Because what we got coming, it will move you if you're not rooted and grounded. And Jesus is going to catch a lot of people. He's going to come back. So I told you to be ready. I didn't tell you to get ready. I told you to be ready. Come on. Knowing this first. Knowing this first. That there shall come in the last days. When? Scoffers. When? In the last, in the last days. days. People with great disrespect. You talk about Jesus now, man. People be like, oh, man, please. Oh, you one of those, huh? Yeah. Yeah. When there used to be respect. But because church folk have hypocrited so much, people don't even respect it now. I hate to see people name the name of Jesus and next thing you know they curse it. Name the name of Jesus, you see them light up a cigarette. Name the name of Jesus, they go home with somebody they ain't married to. I hate to see that. Then they lump us all together. But let me give you something here. We don't play around with sin. Trying to make us look stupid. 
too. But oh, one day, he said, it's going to rain. And guess what happened? Man, the people still out there, man, that's a stupid Noah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drip. Uh-oh. What's that? That's the stuff he said was coming. No, no, hey, hey. Well, you got to remember one thing. Jesus has never come back before. So it sounds stupid. Here we go again. Here we go again. He said, I told you before, listen to me. For this, people are willingly ignorant of that by the word of God, they have been back in the old time. What? And the earth standing out of the, the water. Yes. And in the water. And in the water. Whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water. He said, I'm trying to remember. I'm trying, I'm trying to bring you back to your mind. Your, your, your real mind. I remember I'm trying to tell you that happened before. And the earth flooded. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you all. Now what? Watch this. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same now, word. Now here we are, Sister Alice, with the same word. Wow. Right. And with, with, we're facing the same unbelief spirit. And God is holding back. Because I can see God looking and going, it's too many of them. Too many of them go to hell if I tell you to go right now. They go to church, but they're not ready. They won't stop sinning. Some people carry a lot of knowledge in their head, and they won't obey. They're not ready. Don't go yet. God help us. What does it say, my sister? But the heavens and the earth which, yeah. are, which are now, which are, by the same by the word, same word that said, the same word that said it was going to rain, that same that said up there. That same word is saying, Jesus is coming back. Yes. Yes. Amen. God, help us. The spirit of unbelief is killing us. Yes. Jesus, have mercy. Amen. Man, people are sitting around, willfully sinning. My God, help us. Yes. Jesus, help us. Amen. Yes, sir. And Jesus, all the time, Amen. the damn is coming, is marching. Wow. I'm looking at stuff. Shouldn't be looking at. I'm involved in things. Shouldn't be involved in. I'm saying stuff. Shouldn't be saying at all times. One song says, Sister Jenny said, Don't get caught counting up because the Father is counting down. He's going to have all the time left when there is no more time around. Jesus, help us. Time has got to submit to God. And it's all going to be over. Read it. But the heavens yes. and the earth, which are now by the same, by the same word, word are kept in store. Yes, kept in store. unto fire yes. against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Perdition of damnation of ungodly men. Who are they? The ones who know the truth and won't do it. Wow. But sir, I can see Jesus coming back. We husband and wife. I see Jesus like, you thought I Jesus, boom, I told you to be ready, but I believe you're going to hell now. But all that knowledge, I believe that it's going to kill us. I'm going to keep on telling you, I'm telling you. Jesus, help us. Jesus, help us. When Pastor Deuce is no way around, I'm at home. What am I looking at? This is Jesus looking at me. All of a sudden, unbelief, man, Jesus is boom. No, 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 no. Keep that video right where it is. Hit pause. I told you to leave that one. Here I am now. Here I am now. But we don't believe it. People don't believe it. If we did, brother, before I go off on you, I'm going to consider Jesus. Right. Yes, man. Jesus may be coming back just at the time I'm going off on you. But, but unbelievers are like, man, listen, get that off your chest. You ain't got to do that. You got to put up with that. Man, man, and the Holy Ghost is like, listen, let me tell you how to do this. Shut up, Holy Ghost. Let me get this off. Let me get this off. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. We won't tell them to shut up with the words, but we do in our actions. Come on, let's read it. Verse 
say one thing. Get out. We'll talk later. I don't hear it right now. I got I to gotta see what's going on. We'll talk later. Is that right, bro? Church of God, folks, he's like, fight and kill each 
job. Yeah. Just don't be ready. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Right. Yeah. Right. That's why when people come to me, Brother Arnold, what about so-so? Oh, I don't know. I don't have anything to say. Yeah. Next! That's right. <laughs> you ain't giving me no conversation, bro. Why? I got to make it in, bro. Right. Right. People come to me and come to me. What do you think about Brother so Man, I ain't telling you. I ain't getting involved in no foolish conversation. What? Man, Jesus on his way by.
verse 12, looking yes. for and hastening unto the coming of the day of God, yes. wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved. My Lord, and the heavens on fire shall, shall melt with fervent heat. Yes. Nevertheless, Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for a new heavens and a new earth. Yes, we do. Wherein dwelleth righteousness. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things. That sin, let us know the saints will care. The saints are careful. They're looking for yeah, such things. Right. You hear that? You hear the difference? Yeah. Those, if, I'm not, if I'm not living right since the devil, I'm not looking for that. Yeah. I'm not looking for Jesus to come back. Now, right now, let me get through going off on you first. Then I'll look for Jesus to come back. Let me tell you. While I'm in the heat of it, I'm, I'm not looking for Jesus to come back while I'm in the heat of it. Let me tell you something, saints. Don't you know that we all have to come to this message? Yeah. Oh, Lord, uh, listen, I'm not standing before you like, I got all you. Let me tell you, look, the Holy Ghost, brother, man, where, where, where's our pointer, brother, the faithful pointer? The Holy Ghost, boy, he, boy, uh, throughout my marriage, he's talking about a, a faithful instructor. Hey, not, nope, you can't say that. What did I say? Okay, yes, Lord. Right. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. 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 Nope. Nope. <coughs> that right there, you cannot deal with your wife with that. And I can either go over it or obey it. Yeah. Right. So I'm either ready or not ready. Yeah. See how that works? Yeah. Oh, man, listen. Oh, somebody said it's tight. Right. 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 How am I going to be? I'm married now. And I'm over here spending all this time with this sister, my wife, and How am I going to cut that out? What? And then, then, then on purpose, I ain't gonna tell. Wow. Then you know you're in trouble. Yeah. Jesus help us. Come on now. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, yes. be diligent. Be diligent that we now. Be found that we will be peace. found and watch this take me slow. Be diligent that we will be found when Jesus come back in him. How? Of him in First peace. First of all, peace. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. Without spot. Thank you, Lord. Come on, I'll have peace when he comes. Right, right. Secondly, what? Without when spot. When I can judge, that's going to be like, yeah, come on, that son. Without. You can't nobody live perfect. Then you're not going to be ready for Jesus. Right. He said, without what? Spot. Without spot. Wait a minute, that's it? And blameless. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Without blame, brother. Church of God, tighten it up! Tighten it up, church of God. Amen. Jesus, help us to live it. The next generation, how is it going to look? Jesus, help us to tighten it up. Lord, help us. Come on. And account that the long suffering of our this Lord. This is what we better account. That the long suffering, come on. Of our Lord is salvation. That's what it is. Isn't it, saints? Yeah. God, hold it up. He hold it up. Don't take, don't sit back. Don't sit back and take advantage. We better count. The Lord, he would be saved. He yes. went. Maybe this is the message, Lord. I better get it right. Take the blinders off. If God has shown something in my life, I better be so thankful. Yes. 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 Verse 16, drop to it. As also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things. That's good, my sister. I want to just read one more verse. Revelation 22. Let's, let's get ready to wrap it up. Re Revelation 22, verse number 7. And, then and I, John, yes. and I, John, saw these things and heard them. And what I had what heard and seen. What, what verse are you reading, my sister? Verse 8. Oh, 22. No, verse 7. Seven. Yeah. Behold. Behold. I come quickly. Jesus said, Jesus said, I come quickly. What does that mean? When I come, there's going to be no... The... That's, I can't even use, I gotta be careful with the words because to say there won't be any measurable time <laughs> is inaccurate. There'll be no time. Right. That's the accurate say. No time. Quickly. The way things are, that's gonna be like that. A, 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 a Kodak moment. Right. right? So so the way that I am, he's like, Shh. Oh, you know those numbers on camera? He's going to wave it there. Let's see. Lord, 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 I'm praying. I'm 
no, 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 no. I've already took the picture of Ray Marvin. Yeah. Look. Oh, here it comes, here it comes. Here it comes. Uh, 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 let's, let's drop down to verse 10. Here it comes. And he said unto me, What did he say? Seal not the signs of the prophecy of this book. Don't the of this book. For the time he is at an end. Let me tell you all, the time is at hand. And he took this Kodak picture, and he's walking around with it, so to speak. You know how you all remember those old cameras? You had to wave and let it drive? Yeah. Yeah. Blowing on the instant yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. And yeah. yeah, you blowing on the, and it's developing, brother. Right. He said, no, 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 I don't want to hear it now. I don't want to hear the prayers now. I said, no, 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 Lord, I'm going to get it right. It's too late. I'm here now. I told you, I told you. And as the picture developed, read the next verse. And behold, I come quickly. Do we read verse number 11? We didn't finish 11. He that is he unjust. He that is unjust. I took the picture. What? Let him oh, be oh, unjust. Look at the picture, brother. There it is right there. Still, still, still unjust. unjust. Here's another one. Let me develop this one. What's that? What? And he which is filthy. The Lord is filthy. Huh? Oh, no, 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 no. Too late to pray. Too late to pray. Let me develop. Look at the picture. Still on the Oh, no, I'm back down. The picture's taken. What else? Let him be filthy still. Yes. And he that is righteous. The, the ones who've been fighting. Keeping it right, brother. Man, I'm talking about, man, they've been going through. Lord God, it, it, is there an end to the tribulation? He's like, oh, I'm back now, son. Look at this. He said there was a little what? Him that, let him be, he, no, he that is righteous. Righteous. Brother, look, look at this, son. Look at this. Look at this. Still righteous. Yeah. Come on in. And what? Let him be righteous still. Yes. And he that is holy. And he that is holy. Let him be holy still. Oh Lord, oh Lord, look, 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 Lord. Oh, you made it. Come on in. There's no more changing when he comes back. That's no more. Let, listen to me. Some of us have been talking about this millennial reign, this thousand years. That's a misinterpretation of the scripture. Right. We don't have time to go over right now. If you want, if you're interested, let me just give it to you just like this. Get it right now. There will be no second chance. Okay. Let me just tell you that. Because when Jesus comes back, brother, whatever state you in, it's a Kodak moment. Jesus help us. That spirit of unbelief, brother, is killing people. It's telling them to go to church. It's telling them to even be called by the right name. Just don't live right. But get it right. Jesus is on his way back. God bless you. We hope you have enjoyed gospel time today. If we can be of any help, please let us know by writing to the Church of God at 4601 South Drexel Boulevard, Chicago, Illinois 60653, or phone 773-548-7133. The Church of God of Chicago invites you to worship with us in our 2019 annual fellowship meeting beginning Friday, May 24th through Monday, May 27th. Services are scheduled to be held as follows. Church Chapel, Friday, May 24th at 7 p.m. and Saturday, May 25th at 6 p.m. King High School, 4445 South Drexel Boulevard on Sunday, May 26th at 10 a.m. service only. Returning to the Church Chapel on Sunday, May 26th at 7 p.m. and Monday, May 27th, 10 a.m. If, if you would like to visit with us, our order of service is as follows. Sunday morning Bible school at 9.15 a.m. Sunday morning worship service, 11 o'clock a.m. Sunday night worship service at 5 p.m. Tuesday night worship service at 7 p.m. Prayer service on Thursday at 12 noon. And Friday night Bible class at 7 p.m. Visit our website and like us on Facebook at churchofgodofchicago.com. Also like us on Periscope at C-O-G-O-C, -O -O Gospel Time. As we bring this message to a close, we would like to leave these scriptures from the Word of God with you. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 and 29. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls.
The musician for today has been our piano, Sister Naomi Horton. Your reader and announcer has been Sister Alice Allen. May God bless and keep you. Let us stand. Yes, he's on his way back. And I know that uh, for me, now that sounds like a folklore. This Bible was written hundreds of years ago. And people just don't believe that. It was written and he was warning the people back then, but here we are hundreds of years later, and we just don't, we don't believe it. We, we, we don't believe that Jesus is on his way back. We don't believe that our, our conduct, how we act, and I, I love what that scripture says about uh, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought we to be in all holy conversation. You know why it says conversation? Because your actions, your conduct speaks. How you act speaks. Speaks about you. You remember years ago there was a, a song that uh, Come on, Christ. 